And I want you to call me at 734-556-2184 if you need prayer, deliverance, healing, you need natural cures and alternatives. I do corporate wellness, church wellness, family wellness, and I do personal consultations to help you on a biblical road to recovery, a biblical road to overcome sickness and disease, a biblical road to help detoxification and to build a foundational plan in your life so that you can eat God's way, so you can walk in the fullness that the fullness and not die presumptuous in the wilderness. We want you to fulfill your destiny until God calls you home. But we need to have a strong body. And so I also want to encourage you pastors, I help equip the church with the proper knowledge of health and healing, body, soul, and spirit, according to the biblical principles that are proven to prevent disease, heal disease, and keep you walking in God's given destiny. And I, I do corporate wellness. If you have a company um, in the community or over, over all over the nation. We can do Skype, we can do teleconference or video, but I educate and train businesses and companies, uh, employees for a healthy nutrition lifestyle, maintaining balance, eliminating stress. Um, how, what's the goals to eliminate and decrease sick days for individuals and how to lower, lower insurance cost expenses for smaller, large companies? And um, also, again, on the personal consulting, I will help you with the necessary changes for weight loss, energy, clarity, longevity, healthy food, and nutritional lifestyle. I can't say more than enough about Genesis, um, Genesis 15, 26. It says, God said, he will, if God said, if we will diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God and will do what is right in thy sight, I'll put none of these diseases upon you that I put on Egypt, for I am the Lord that healeth thee. And see, the Lord is the Lord that healeth thee, but there is obedience and disciplines if we're going to be disciples of God to walk in that Abrahamic covenant of health and healing. The children of Israel lived long life. Moses lived 110 uh, or 120, Joshua 110, because they obeyed the commandments of the statutes of the Lord they God. They separated themselves from the world system of Egypt at that time. And God, God kept them from the unclean foods, and they ate the clean foods of the earth. They ate the vegetables and the fruits. And what would Jesus eat? Beans and uh, seeds and nuts and, and uh, the healthy free-range chicken and the free-range meat and healthy dairy and healthy beverages. And so I want to get you on a plan to redeem the time and restore the lost years and recover all in your life. Call me at 734-556-2184 so you can receive your biblical uh, consultation and a foundational plan for strength to heal diabetes, to heal blood pressure, to heal cholesterol, to heal cancer, to heal lupus, to heal skin conditions, or maybe just want greater clarity or memory in your brain for your endocrine system, for your adrenal system, for your blood system, for all kinds of systems, your organ systems, your liver. Do you have a fatty liver? You know, do you have heart condition? God has a natural cure, a supernatural natural cure for the word of, through the word of God, the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, communion, and natural laws of the garden of God. Do you know that Genesis 129, it said, God says, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of the earth, and every tree in which the fruit of the tree yielding seed you shall eat for meat. See, God has supplied everything that we have need of to be well and whole. It's in the earth. The kingdom of God is in the earth, but we need to seek it out because the medical system is a counterfeit. It's a deception. That Thank God for doctors, and God uses doctors. He uses medicine. But we must also first seek Jehovah Rapha, our great physician, to give us the, the protocol and the pathway healing that he has for us. If he wants us to go to Egypt and doctors, so be it. But if he doesn't, we need to get our healing from him alone or God desires both to be healed through the doctors and through natural cures and alternatives. And Revelations 22, 22, and he said, He showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and the Lamb. In the midst of the street and on the either side of the river was there the tree of life, which um, bare twelve manner of fruits and yielded her fruit every month, and the leaves of the trees were the healing of the nations. And there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God, and the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him. Do you know the Lord says there's seed and there's food in the earth to break the curse of sickness? 
for diabetes and blood pressure. Do you know there's food that's medicine and medicine's a food? That food has a medicine for every condition? That there's supplements that are concentrated that'll accelerate and recreate your body, your organ systems. There's natural healing oils with frequencies of frankincense and myrrh and lavender and tea tree oil and all these different oils that have high frequencies to increase the frequency level of organ health, blood health, lymphatic health, um, brain health. Do you know that the oils can get past the blood-brain barrier into the brain and help with Alzheimer's and dementia? But the lack of knowledge, people of God, we are destroyed. We must understand the knowledge of God and appropriate the knowledge with the wisdom that God gives us and directs us through this natural protocol. And so I'm excited about bringing this. You know, I've been healed of lupus, fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue. I've been healed of viruses, bacteria, fungus, heavy metals. I've been healed of candida and yeast and uh, thyroid disease, adrenal disease, um, hypothymolus, pituitary problems as well. Also been healed emotional issues of rejection, insecurity, fear, worry, and anxiety. It doesn't mean I don't feel these things. I'm just not in bondage to these anymore. I'm walking in freedom, freedom and wholeness and joy of the Lord and the peace of God that passes all understanding. While I'm in this world, I'm walking in my peace. While I'm in this world, I'm walking in my joy. While I'm in this world, I'm walking in my love. For what's the purpose? To love God and to love people and to freely receive and freely give this freedom that I've so freely received. I have to give this healing away to others and I'm giving it away to you today. This is God's grace coming to you to give you the knowledge and the wisdom. Break through that passivity. Break through that apathy. Break through that ignorance. Break through um, that busyness and distraction and distortion. And get the knowledge that you need. Get the freedom that you need. Jesus Christ paid for it already. But we must partner with him. You do everything you can do. Is everything depends upon you. And you trust God. And do, trust God as everything depends upon him. This is partnership. This is covenant. This is our covenant with God. Our partnership as sons. He says, by faith. By faith. By faith. So put your name there. By faith. It's a walk of faith. See, the world system doesn't have faith. It's unbelief and doubt. We got to get out of the world system and get into the kingdom of faith. Get in the kingdom of love. And how your faith is going to work is by you loving people and by you forgiving people. And your faith is going to move mountains. Your faith is going to move that mountain of sickness. Because it says, if you have faith as a grain of a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, be thou removed and cast in the sea and believe and not doubt in your heart that what God has said will happen. But what are you saying, saints? What are you saying? I got aches and I got pains. Yes, maybe you do. Those are facts. But God says faith. Overcome your feelings. Overcome your emotions. Overcome that pain. Yes, I cried through that pain. Yes, I spoke of that pain going through lupus. Yes, I went three steps forward and one back. But I kept proceeding. I kept desiring. I kept saying, the heaven suffer violent and the violent taketh by force. That I had to be vigilant and violent in worship, in prayer, in the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus, appropriating the blood of Jesus and the word of God that says, by his stripes I am healed. And so the Lord, I was the woman with the issue of blood. Your faith has made you whole. And I laid hold of the hem of the garment of the Lord in the secret place in his presence. And I began to eat good. I began to get off the world system into the kingdom. I began to cast down those thoughts and imaginations and those emotional woundedness that kept me in fear and worry, that kept me in uh, rejection, that kept me in unforgiveness and bitterness, casting those thoughts down, repenting, renouncing, forgiving continually till I bore up with the fruit of righteousness. And then getting the natural cures of uh, greens and, and cleansing and juices and fibers through Genesis, which I'm a distributor of, Genesis Company. And I actually a distributor of 10 companies, New Beginnings Nutrition, where I offer natural cures and alternatives through food, supplementation, and oils for people to be well and overcome. Because my body was tore down. My body was broken down by sin, by ignorance, by rebellion, by deception. But God in his mercy came to me after all my sin and my curses and my rebellion go in the opposite direction he forgave me of all my sins and I repented of that rebellion I repented of not eating good I repented of perfectionism and performance because I was driven by fear as an orphan mentality and I didn't know that I was a daughter of God I didn't know that in my heart I knew in my head but I didn't have it in my heart that gave me rest for my soul 
so I can receive his love that cast it out the fear so I can mature in his love that would cast out the fear not only in me but in other people that I would encounter because the perfect love of God cast out the fear and I became mature in love but my body had been torn down so God rebuilt this temple for his glory he he tore down everything and he brought me down to ashes but then he gave me beauty for ashes and the oil of joy for mourning and the garments of praise for the spirit of heaviness because he began to show me the blueprint and the plan to restore my body, spirit, soul, and body. And he began to show me how to clean the lymphatic system, the liver, the lungs, the kidneys, the bowels, the brain. And so I want to encourage you to give me a call at 734-556-2184. I want to help you come into the fullness and freedom that Christ died to give you through natural laws and spiritual laws, so you can overcome and fulfill your God-given destiny and do what you were born to do. It's time for the city of Detroit. It's time for the state of Michigan. It's time for Canada and all over the nation to come into the kingdom of God. In the kingdom, there is no sickness. In the kingdom, there is no curses. In the kingdom, there is no disease, but joy, love, and peace, and freedom in your body, freedom in your mind. God desires that the kingdom of God is in you to get it out of you and let it come down upon you. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. I'm so excited what God is doing. This is all available if you appropriate the blood. Let's get out of the world system and into the kingdom of love, the kingdom of his son. And you, can, you will shine like the sun in the kingdom of your father. He's saying, arise and shine for your light has come and the glory of the Lord rises upon you. As water covers the seas and thick darkness covers the people, the glory of the Lord's rising upon you. In Isaiah 55, 5, the nations will come to the brightness of your rising. And so nations, in the favor of God, in the glory of God, will so rest upon your life that nations will come to you to be saved. And the only way the glory can be released in a greater magnitude, as you go from glory to glory in the beginning of the broadcast, I mentioned that scripture in 2 Corinthians, you go from glory to glory, faith to faith. And God desires for you to glory to glory to glory, and it is connected to your health your emotional health, your physical health, your financial health, your relationships. God desires you walk in freedom in every area of your life. But God desires that you walk in wisdom and obedience to the principles of his word and to the obedience of natural laws that are in the earth for you to walk in this greater glory. Because God desires your soul to be whole and your body be well. He's a good daddy and he loves us so much. He wants your soul whole. He knows if he sends you out in this new level and your soul is not right, the enemy will have a place to go in your soul. But we must say, Satan, the prince has come, but he will find nothing on my soul. And so God cares more about our soul than our ministry. He cares more about our bodies than he does about our ministries. Yes, he wants us to fulfill destiny. Yes, he wants us to bring freedom to others. But he cares about you. He cares about your emotions. He cares about your mind. He cares that you're whole and well and happy and joyful and peaceful. That your relationship with him is in right standing. There's no walls between you. There's no sin between you. There's no curses between you. But the blood of Jesus is enough. If those things stay there until Jesus comes or you called home, he's going to love you with an everlasting love. There's nothing going to ever separate you from the love of God, no matter what you do or don't do. If you've really received Jesus Christ as your Savior and you're sincerely following Christ, you made him the Lord of your life. Even when we fall back and make mistakes, God is there. But why are we continuing to go around in the wilderness when God says we can live in the kingdom? Then we can walk as overcomers. We can walk with the favor of God to nations, even as Joseph, as he was prepared in those, that 13-year journey to overcome but you must overcome your soul. You must overcome in your body. But God has given us all those things we need in Colossians. He's given us all things freely through his blood. But it's through the wisdom of God and the revelation of God. And, don't, and, and some will say, well, I don't have money to get healthy. No, you, you don't have, the question is, you're going to pay now or pay later. That your faith is going to bring you finances you need to be well. There is no cost that you can put on your health. If you don't have health, you have nothing. It'll affect your relationships. It'll affect your ministry. It'll affect your personal relationship with God. And so you need to pray and ask God for favor in your finances, to have finances come your way to get your health in order. 
and food and supplements you'll need, essential oils, whatever it is that God is requiring you to come into, that he will provide the finances you need. So don't let your mind get in the way and already stop God from working in your life if you already have unbelief about your finances and the things that you need, city of Detroit. And I'm speaking to you. And I'm speaking to the nations. Don't, don't get in God's way. Because he says without faith it's impossible to please him. And we must have faith to believe that God has supplied all our needs according to his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. And so God desires you to pray for, he desires you to pray for those finances, for your, for your uh, health care program, which has been bought and paid by the blood of Jesus Christ in Nazareth. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm excited. I'm excited for what the Lord is doing. Do I have 22 minutes? Yep, thank you, Lord. I just had to check on, see where I was at in uh, my time. But Jehovah Rapha wants you well. He wants you whole. He wants you happy. He wants you free. And I'm going to keep saying that over and over again until it gets in your heart. Because don't take anything less than the best of what God has died to give you. Don't be taking that arthritis. Don't be taking that diabetes. Don't be taking that obesity. Don't be taking that mental issues. Don't be taking nothing. Because he already been taking it on the Calvary's cross, amen? He already done took it. The divine exchange is you receive your healing. But there is obedience and there is discipline. You know, we must discipline our bodies and beat our bodies in subjection. God desires we walk in the fruit of the Spirit, which is love and joy, peace and patience and self-control. That temperance, that self-control, that long-suffering. He develops our character in the midst of suffering whether it be financial suffering, whether it be physical suffering, in your relationship, mere marriage, whatever that suffering is, God is developing his character and his nature and his face in you. Because we're being transformed from glory to glory, faith to faith, in the likeness and image of our Lord Jesus Christ. That the Father's desire is for us to be sons like Jesus, to look like him, to talk like him, to walk like him. But God loves us individually intimately. And so he's not raising up robots. He's raising up those that will be sons, that will partner with him, that will have his heart, that will have his ways, that will have his wisdom. And so through your situation, God desires you have wisdom. And don't take just the medical saying there's no cure. Because when the Bible says there's a cure and it's in Jesus Christ, we have the answers to the groanings of this world, saints. We have the answers for this world. You have the answer for this world. But we're coming through the wilderness so you can overcome. And as you overcome, you can help others overcome. And so this is the multiplication of healed healer, not a wounded healer, but a healed healer. If you want to carry greater glory, you want to be a healed healer. God will use us from day one. Hallelujah. He used me in my mess. He used me when I still had curses, emotional soul wounds, unforgiveness. He still used me because it's not me. It's the glory of God in me. But there is an alignment. I'm not working for something I already have. I'm receiving something he's already done. I'm preparing myself and aligning myself to walk in greater purity and holiness because it's my position, saints, but it was not always my condition. And in that purity, you will see God. In that purity, there's power. In that holiness, there's wholeness. And there's shalom. I love the word shalom because my life was filled of fear. My life was full of worry and anger. I didn't have shalom I lived in anger and fear, and it was more natural for me in my DNA to really walk in shalom. And shalom was something I didn't even know anything about. But I began to get a taste of shalom, a taste of peace. And I wanted to pursue peace. I wanted to live in peace, practice peace, because that peace started healing my body. And that peace will come as you confront those soul wounds, as you repent of those soul wounds, as you cast those thoughts down and meditate on what's right, what's pure, what's lovely, and what's beautiful. And as you rejoice in the Lord, even in spite of your circumstances, in spite of your pain, physically, emotionally, and spiritually, you continue to worship God. You continue to praise Him with all your heart. You continue to dance for Him and love Him and that freedom until you become freedom until you become joy, until you become peace, until you become prayer, until you become the word of God in the earth. Amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is so good. He is so good. Hallelujah. And so God desires that you walk in this freedom, this freedom that casts all restraints. There's no slavery or bondage. 
a freedom that it's like you already died and gone to heaven. And this peace, this shalom is harmony. It's a sound. It's completion. It's wholeness. It's perfection in him. It's a unity that you have with God, yourself and others. And this is the unity that the body of Christ needs in this hour and this time. It's a shalom where your soul is healed from that molestation. Your soul is healed from that rape. Your soul is healed from that abandonment and betrayal. Your soul is healed from being orphaned. Your soul is healed from the shock or from the trauma, from the grief, from the sadness that circumstances brought on. That your soul is healed, so your soul is prospering. Now your body's in good health. Your relations are, relationships are in good health. Your mind is in good health. Your ministry is in good health. Finances. Everything is connected to the soul, saints. Your mind and your emotions. And you can then do the will of God. Not my will, but yours be done, O Lord. And you walk in a shalom, which is God's presence. And his presence brings healing to your own body and healing to others. Where there's fear and worry in others and your love will cast out the fear that's in Jesus and you. That joy in Jesus, that peace in Jesus. And so the Lord desires that we live in the kingdom. Righteousness, joy, and peace in the Holy Ghost. And that shalom, the peace that passes all understanding. The peace that guards your heart and mind in Jesus Christ. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give unto you. Neither be troubled or neither be afraid. For the God of peace crushes Satan under your feet. God desires you to live in this peace. And it's shalom. And it's a unity with God, yourself, and others. And this is the unity that we're going to see revival and awakening. So that you become unified with God and with your brother or sister. And so that there's no walls between you and your brother or sister. Because you come with love, and then that love heals their, their hearts. And then they get inner healing and deliverance. And then they walk in a unity where the, the, the oil of the anointing of God is poured out over them. And that anointing is the favor of the priests and the kings and the blessings of the Lord. Because of that shalom and that unity and the love to love your brother and the peace that you have with your brother and the joy that you have over their lives and the honor you give them and the celebration of who they are. And this is truly unity, truly revival. When your heart's revived, when your heart is full of love and grace and mercy, when your heart is full of passion for the cross of Jesus Christ, when your heart is what his heart beats for, his heart is for Israel. His heart is for the broken. His heart is for those that are bound in prison. His heart is for those that have been falsely accused and for those that have been hurt and wounded and, and traumatized. His heart is for these. When you have his heart, that you'll have everything. And God is looking for the city of Detroit and all over this nation to have the, his heart. Do you have the keys to his heart? The key to his heart is to love unconditionally and to forgive unconditionally. And to love the broken, love the wounded, love the black, love white, love the Hispanic, love all cultures, tribes, and tongues. It's the love that brings the power of God. And out of his presence is love, and out of his glory is love. And this love heals the nations. And then God gives you the authority as you walk in love, as you walk in faith. So your faith works by love. And that you meditate on the word of God and you believe the word of God and, and you outroot unbelief and doubt and faith can move mountains. Do you have faith for your city? Do you have faith for the nations? Do you have faith for your own life? And get God, God desires to bring you into a whole new level of the kingdom, of a kingdom mindset. And so I want to encourage you in the Lord to meditate on his word day and night. Renew your mind in the word of God. Eat it, drink it, swallow it, speak it, declare it, decree it. Change your atmosphere with your words. Get rid of the, the evil words. Get rid of the words that are gossip and critical and judgmental. Guard your mouth and guard your heart, saints. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And um, I'm excited because I want to talk to you a little bit about, we're going to transition. And I just thank the Lord for this word. I feel his anointing and his love and his presence. Give me a call at 734-556-2184 that I may pray with you. If you need inner healing or deliverance, you need natural protocols, a foundational plan. I do nutritional consultations, family wellness, corporate wellness, church wellness. I'm excited. I want to see the body of Christ restored 
um, as that bride of Christ, that bride that's energized, that bride that's full of life. She's full of joy. She's running to the nations with her bridegroom, reaching the nations. She's full of the glory of God. And the anointing of the Holy Spirit in Isaiah 61 is resting upon her. The dove is resting upon her shoulder. She's running. She's leaping. She's jumping. She's dancing. Her, her, bride, her bridal gown is white. Amen. And that's the desire of the Lord, to mature bride, to overcome, to run with him, to have his wisdom to carry to the nations. Amen. And he has called you. That's You are the bride of Christ. You are the sons of God. You are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. You are the light and salt of this earth. You have been blessed as spiritual blessings blessings in heavenly places. Hallelujah. You have been blessed with wisdom and revelation knowledge. You have all things been given unto you. Let us appropriate the blood. Let us receive the great gifts of salvation. Salvation has given us healing and deliverance. Salvation has given us provision and protection. Salvation has given us all things to appropriate the fullness of what he died to give us. And he cries out that you walk in a greater intimacy, in a greater freedom that you've ever known in this, this year of Jubilee. Amen. So I'm excited just for a moment. I want to talk to you about um, our Fat Fight Eliminator six-pack punch program. It's going to cleanse you, alkaline your body. It's going to help your digestion. It's going to help nourish your cells. It's going to nourish your um, uh, seven channels of elimination. Um, it's going to detoxify you. It's going to help you lose weight. It's going to establish the garden of God in your body. And oftentimes we have viruses, bacteria, fungus, heavy metals. We have... Uh, thousands of chemicals that have been put in our water, in our food systems, 7,000 different chemicals and drugs, sodium nitrates, uh, BHA, BHT, EDTA, coloring drugs, artificial flavorings. About 1 billion pounds of drugs are consumed in America. That's 7 pounds for every woman and child. So we must detoxify at least twice a year and maintain that detoxification throughout the year. And only in Michigan alone, $125 million is spent on prescription drugs. And $1.65 $1 million, um, $1 million are spent uh, in diabetes in Michigan alone. So we do have a crisis in our country. And the two strongholds are our health and wealth. And we need wisdom for health and wealth in the state of Michigan, in Canada, and all over the nation. And we need to eradicate these diseases by spiritual laws and natural laws. And we need to have the understanding. I don't focus on the problem. I focus on the solution and the cure. But we do need to know where we've been, what, where we're at now, and where we're going. $880 billion uh, are spent on prescription drugs globally. Okay? And so it's actually sorcery. If you look at Revelations 18.23, it says, Thy merchants were the great men of the earth deceived. By their sorceries, nations were deceived. And see, uh, pharmaceutical means pharmakia. When the, and if you look in the Greek, it means sorceries. I'm not saying that doctors are witches or nurses are witches, but the pharmaceutical industry is driven by witchcraft and control and manipulation for greed's purposes. So we must seek, the, seek Jehovah Rapha, our great physician, for the protocol and the pathway of healing that he has for us. Don't take man's word for it. Take God's word for it. And let him lead you and guide you first and wait upon the Lord and allow him to reveal himself to you so that you can um, overcome as he reveals other areas of our lives. He reveals sin in our lives. He'll, really, he'll um, reveal ignorance or deception in our lives. So not only do we get the cure, but we have a cure, which is our hearts, that our hearts now are healed. Um, even greater than our body, our hearts are healed. And he does something wonderful in our relationship with him. Um, and so God uses the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. And so being healed of lupus, fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue, I had to go on a, a detoxification program for, um, for a lot of years. But God wants to eradicate this candida, yeast, mold, viruses, bacteria, fungus, heavy metals in your body. And I have uh, products called Gen Essentials. They're plant-based nutrition that are vegan. They are uh, soy-free, chemical-free, gluten-free, no sugar added, lactose-free, non-GMO, and dairy-free. And they're plant-based. And I want to make sure I put healthy products back into my body. And so um, what I offer is a six-package uh, program, fiber, greens, colon cleanse, uh, juice, and two weight loss products that are all natural. So we have Garcinia Cambioja, green coffee bean extract, noni juice, mangosteen, goji juice, sea buckthorn. We have fiber, greens, and colon cleanse. That's going to help the lymphatic system. 
going to cleanse uh, the intestinal tract, the colon. It's going to cleanse your blood systems, your kidney system, your liver system. And you need to do this at least twice a year. We clean our houses and our cars more than we take care of our own health and our, um, and our bodies. This is going to help healthy colon function, your small intestine, uh, gut-related health, healthy skin and appearance, healthy bacteria counts. It's going to help cleanse your blood, help strengthen the liver cells. It's going to help elimination, so that way you're eliminating your um, bowel movements, but with a glove of fiber that's going to pull out these viruses and bacteria and these toxins that you could have 5 to 20 pounds in your colon, in the fecal matter. So we have to realize that God has a plan for you to, for weight loss, detoxification, to alkaline your body, to restore pH balance, to um, cleanse your blood, your liver, your kidneys, your bowels, and to give you products that actually restore and revitalize. So not only do you break down and to remove the toxins, the waste, the viruses, bacteria, candida, and yeast, but you're now replenishing you're restoring, you're alkalining all at the same time with these products. And so we have the fiber product, which is helps with balancing blood sugar, helps restore intestinal tract, has hemp fiber, oat fiber, apple fiber, uh, flaxseed fiber. Also, your greens are going to have three to five servings of dark leafy vegetables that are going to provide an alkalinity in your body, which detoxifies and has parsley, potent greens, milk thistle, cilantro, fruit powder, and chlorophyll and probiotics to support the digestion and the elimination. And that is our green products. Also in the green products, you'll find it has immune system blend and eye blend and, um, and uh, liver blend. And also it has all the greens like uh, sea kelp, corilla, that helps with iodine levels and helps your thyroid, increase your thyroid levels, which helps weight loss levels. And so you want to call me at 734-556-2184 so that I can help you with your weight loss detoxification program, New Beginnings Nutrition, where your new beginning starts here. And we want to prepare your body as a house of God. You have 60 trillion cells in your body. They have to be optimal, um, longevity, vitality, energy. And we can't be putting processed food in there, box food, canned foods, fried foods. These are dead foods. These are dead foods that have no enzymes, no life in them. We have to put life back in our bodies, bring life frequencies. It's a sound. It's a harmony that your food has frequencies in it. Your essential oils like frankincense and myrrh and lemon and lime and orange that I carry through doTERRA have, I do every day, I drink them every day, I put them on my feet every day, I diffuse them every day. They put frequencies in your body that go to different organs and blood systems in your body to keep healthy maintenance of your health, of your energy, of your brain systems, and the detoxification plan. And also the food plan is so important. So if you're interested in a food plan, it's a lifestyle approach that you can get back to the garden of God and eat like the patriarchs of old. And that you, because of these eating the healthy food, you'll have a healthy life. You'll prevent disease, heal disease, and keep you walking in divine health. And so I'm excited about this. And pastor, if you're out there and you have a sheep that are sick, they have diabetes, blood pressure, cholesterol, cancer. Uh, they have arthritis and they have obesity. You want to give me a call at 734-556-2184. We can do a series of trainings for your church where I can come out at one time and to tell people about the kingdom of God, the garden of God, and the, the precious blood of Jesus Christ and the love that God has for us so that his people are well and whole to fulfill their destiny and have intimacy with God. We, our intimacy with God is hindered when we don't have a healthy body, a healthy soul, or a healthy mind, or we're sick because we can't worship him like we want to or go out in the streets to share the gospel because we're tired, we're weary, we can't get out of bed, we're just limited in what we can do. And God loves us thoroughly. It's not based on our sickness, if we have it, or based on our emotional wounds, or even our rebellion, or stubbornness, or even laziness. Some of those things we have in our lives, our love, his love is not based on performance, it's based on his perfection. But he wants so much more for us. Um, so we can experience his love like heaven on earth, and faith to move mountains and heal people. 
So I'm really excited that I was able to share this broadcast with you today. And I want you to call me at 734-556-2184. And I say shalom to you, shalom to your family, shalom to your health, shalom to your emotions. And I want to say shalom to the peace of Israel. And we say peace to Israel, peace in their palaces, peace within their walls, peace to every mother, father, sister, brother. We say peace and send your angels and salvation to the nation of Israel. And we thank you, Lord, for Israel. And we bless Israel today. And we bless the city of Detroit. And we bless this nation with health and healing and abundance of peace. But by your stripes, this nation is healed. By your stripes, churches are healed. Pastors are healed. Congregational members are healed. By your stripes, Lord, you have made a way when there seems to be no way. And you made a way in the wilderness for us to overcome, to walk in the fullness of your blood and the garden of God and the power of God. And I say, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Don't forget, you must forgive. You must forgive your brother and your sister. Forgive all and heal all and live in the kingdom of God. This is truly the kingdom to be a true son of the Father. We love you and we want to thank you for being a part of New Beginnings Nutrition, Wall of Fire Healing Ministries. Lord, I thank you right now. You're releasing healing to every person. and. and you're releasing healing to every person right now in the name of Jesus. You're releasing love and light and, and healing and your light to every person. Let the glory of the Lord rise upon you as water covers the seas and thick darkness covers the people. May the glory of the Lord rest upon you. Me, upon you. I say, prophet, rise up. Prophet, rise up. Apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teacher. It's time for you to rise to, to the kingdom of God. Bring in the kingdom. Bring in healing and deliverance to your church, to your city, and to your nation. I declare destiny over you. I declare the true identity of God over you. I declare abundant life over you, that God is bringing you life and life more abundantly. He loves you with an everlasting love. He is there for you. He will never leave you or forsake you. He loves you. He, he's calling you. He's saying, give me your heart and let me in. I've got so much more for you. I love you. Call me again at 734-556-2184. And we'll talk to you again here at Healing for the Nations, New Beginnings Nutrition, and Wall of Fire Healing Ministries. God bless you. I just want to thank Malik Elkabobs again from Middle Eastern Cuisine over in Goddard Road in Taylor, Michigan and Gratiot Avenue in Roseville, Michigan. I want to thank you for our sponsor today and God bless you.